Welcome to Wild Hell. This is a traveler game. We're going to attempt in the 4D style. And uh, let's uh, introduce our players. We have Table Runner Crispy. This is Howdy. Doc Flamingo uh, to his right. And then under Doc Flamingo is 28 millimeter RPG Rick. And then to his left, we have Mr. Max Boivin. I don't know. I guessed. Yeah, that's all right. It's good. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, but to his left. <clears throat> and I am your referee for the evening, Phil the Thrill. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Some of you are awake. <clears throat> As the armed guards are strapping you into uh, your metal uh, traveling pod. The, the, the belts are tightly fastened on you. And some of you are slowly waking up as your nature has required that you be sedated until you are securely fastened in your seats. <clears throat> the the men in full uh, environmental suits, having sat being satisfied that they have strapped you in securely, make their way out of the pod as it begins to seal. The pod is uh, has a very uh, metallic construction. Looks very. Uh, modern day uh, Navy in its construction. So there's a lot of metal rafters and uh, sort of a high ceiling. Looks like there are six people seated in uh, in a circle at each uh, with their backs towards the uh, the wall, the interior walls. A small alarm begins to be beep. Beep, beep. Those of you that were not yet awake, there is a jarring sensation that pulses through the the uh, jump pod as you uh, that shakes every one of you inside. Chris, I'm sitting serene. My eyes close, breathing slowly. I guess the drop's gonna be the worst part, guys. I wake up and start, <laughs> grab the, the harness with my hands, <laughs> look panicked to either side. You haven't been in a drop before, have you, kid? No, it's my first time. I look around. I could say it was my first. To uh, Remus's left, an old, a uh, younger man. Oh. A younger man uh, looks over, and he's also shaking. He says, uh, 
Oh. How you guys doing? Oh. Relax, son. You get used to it. <laughs> That's what them officers always say. <laughs> right before we land. And then we all die. Andrus shakes the fog out of his head, looks around at his surroundings, and realizes he's shaking around like crazy. What in tarnations? <sighs> Where they dropped us now? Holy shit. An older man um, looks at Theodorian calmly as he sh as his chair shaking just watching him as a voice comes over the a speaker inside of the drop pod we at the galactic empire are saddened to have failed at integrating you into our diverse and welcoming culture know that we strive to do better with our citizens in the years to come yeah Ish. Shoved your pot propaganda up where the sun don't shine, he yells. <laughs> Just then, a uh, sensation of free fall enters the, enters the pod, and the turbulence gets even, stir even stronger. As I was uh, serene, now I start to tense up, and now I get the shake sitting in my seat. My head back, eyes closed, fiercely shut. I start muttering inaudibly to myself. A woman's voice comes over the intercom. We hope that you find enrichment in your new life. <clears throat> Be advised that the, tra that the trans uh, transit pod to your new home has been carefully inspected and successfully met all UECC standards. Brought to you by Unicorp. Complete what a bullshit. Thing could happen to us would probably to die. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't inspire confidence. I gotta see. I keep praying. Eyes shut. <sighs> the old man speaks up. Seeds looking at you, Theodore. I know you. Yeah. Yes, you were a journalist. It was a long time ago. I give it up. This pot is shaking. But it was a time, yes. <clears throat> and just looks to the left and to the right, seeing who's next to him. You! Where are you from? He shakes at his chair. <laughs> you don't speak much, do you? Oops, what, what, are you what are you talking to me for, man? We're all going to die. <laughs> we're not going to die. Right now. We're not going to gonna die. No, we're not. Remus we're going to get out of this alive. Time. I'm having a hard time. I well, we're praying. eventually going to die. Here's as good a place as any. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Vega of the, of the Gloriana Strikers. Ryan Vega. Before a big game, I do uh, two things. I call my mama and I take a drink of an ice cold blue spark. Oh, we did. With 20 <sighs> micro units of Carzine, I know I'll have the energy to take it to those endeavor full stars <laughs> at tonight's <laughs> game. What kind of bullshit is this? <laughs> what do we have to hear? Like, we're being sent where none of that is going to be available to us. Why do we have to listen to advertisement again? They're just taunting us. They're Hold taunting up. us now. Hold on. Whoever authorized that ad buy should wind up here, frankly. Where is he? Wait, Go where are we? Where right are we now? going? <laughs> Guys, this is a new life you're being offered. I didn't, I didn't choose this. See it as a gift. I'd rather not. That moment, a 
explosion from beneath the uh, the transit pod as uh, there's a massive force or massive you feel a massive force uh, slowing your fall and a, a stream of what sounds uh, what sounds like jet engines your scent is you can tell your uh, your scent is beginning to uh, slow down your descent well that's much more gentle than I expected <laughs> Yeah, Almost we have a comedian almost. among us. My <laughs> neck muscles are strained as I'm fighting against the G's as we're getting hit by these retro rockets slow in the pod. Uh, no, this is the worst part. It's almost over. The old man looks over at you, or at Andrus, and says, I know you too. You're famous, aren't you? Most, most that know me are either dead or still fighting. Dead, I'd say. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, but there may be some hope at the end of this, he says. I look at Andrews. What are, what are you hoping for? Get out of this alive. And if you guys are willing to come, you know, and survive together, Whatever may may be happening, we're, we'll get out of this. I assure you. Our only chance will be to stick together. A wise thought. I'm not running. The younger man looks at you, Andrews, and says, No one escapes hell. No one's ever escaped hell. Are you crazy? Wait, That's this is hell? That's where we're going. Didn't they tell you, Remus? Or didn't they tell you? So are we already dead? No, hell. You ever heard of hell before? Well, of course. It's some kind of crazy prison my, world. My grandmama no used to hell. tell me about it. It's red and hot. It smells like sulfur, they said. I think you it's hear, uh, green. You hear tink, 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 tink. And your descent begins to speed up again. And then one more and then there's another uh, when the descent stops again suddenly. And uh, it's all, you barely even feel that you're descending at this point. Did we, did we hit the ground? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, the, old man, uh, the, old, the old man points up at a, at a set of numbers decreasing he says i think that's our altitude and uh, mm. it's gonna be there soon it looks like another thousand feet i'm bracing myself in my seat andrus yeah. looks andrus looks around is searching around seeing if there's any panels around little cubby holes that sort of thing taking assess of everything around him it's a lot of uh, flat metal panels on the floor. Um, there is one bag uh, under everyone's chair. Ah, a small bag, and uh, a number of metal rafters across the ceiling. Small control panel over at the door. Um, the exit. Looks like we all have a kit of some form underneath our, our seats. We should be prepared to uh, get our stuff together when we land. Hopefully it's not too rough. If I may Hopefully make it's on land. Gentlemen. If I may make a suggestion, we should probably disassemble any part of this craft that we can. We're la unlikely to find metal where we're going. We might be able to use parts as weapons, as shields, all manner of useful items. Hold on, are you, a, are you an engineer? Uh, you know mechanics, that sort of thing? A little bit. I was in the military. I did some construction. Good, good, good. It'd be useful. Hey, hey, any of you uh, scientist types? 
I got some scientists, scientific studies. Good, good, young man, good. Well, I'll be happy to take that bag off your hands then. Young man. I'm that bag? Man. You touch that bag, I, I'll lay you out. <laughs> I'll lay you out. Yeah, you try it. Hey, you seem like a strong guy. You and me. I could be your friend. You seem about as smart as I am. I don't need someone as dumb as that. <clears throat> I wish we just land. The, uh, the counter is ticking down to 300 feet now. Andrus braces. <clears throat> Shaking has stopped. And uh, the old man says, any moment now. We just hit the bottom. I look and, at Remus. Uh, so you've been in the drop before? Yeah. Yeah, I has. I has a long time ago. What I happened? has and it, it it was bad. It was bad. It was stupid officers said it would be no problem. Half the pod died. I got hurt bad. And then they well, then they just washed me out. I didn't get a pension or nothing. I regret I asked. Oh, shit. Yeah. Young man. Shuts his eyes. I look over at the young man. Size him up. Yeah, I could take him. He just has his eyes shut, muttering, mouthing some words to himself. 150, 100, 75, crash. The, the pod begins to clearly is flipping end over end. Oh, just like ah. <laughs> and uh, and it ends up on its it ends up on its side. Uh, kind of, you can feel it's like there's like a swinging motion going on. We appear to be oh. hung up, gentlemen. This could be a problem. Or I worse, unbuckling the everything, trying to force this metal cage off me that they. The, so the guards straps, put down. The straps uh, provide too much of, a, of resistance against you up until a second later, and then the 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 safety harness just lifts up. Uh, the uh, the young man who was at the top of the pod falls down. And lands uh, busting his head on the bottom of the pod, on the what is now the bottom of the pod. Okay, I lower myself down there and take a look at him. I have some medical training. I stand Andrus. up from my seat, look at the body of the young man on the floor, eh. grab my bag underneath, over my shoulder. I look over at Andrus. Where to now, boss? Ah. Uh. Yeah, let's uh, let's gather our our belongings. Grab grab everything you can. It grabs his bag underneath. Come on, come on, let's get ourselves out of here. I grab Show my stick. bag. I I dislodge myself from the seat. I look around. I told the guy, "Welcome home, guys." <laughs> I uh, I try to climb up to where the bag is on the ceiling where the. Uh, the guy that fell out, busted his head. I think I might take that bag. He might need it later. And if he doesn't make it, then we'll need it. The boy uh, that fell has a, ma has a large gash across his forehead. And uh, he seems dazed. Okay. I tear his sleeve from off. A concussion. And create a bandage with it. And sit him upright. You just relax on, we're gonna get you out of here as soon as we find out what's going on. We appear to be swinging from something, gentlemen. Let's not move around too much in the cabin till we've sussed out what our situation is. And I start climbing up towards the uh, door to release it, to see where we are. Yeah. Andrus gives uh, William a hand, pushing him up. Here, here. And gives him a push up. 
hear a, uh, a, a tink, 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 and uh, the pod changes orientation again. Now the top of the, what, what was the top of the pod is now the bottom as it begins to swing a much wider arc. Nobody um, move around too much. Maybe in a bad spot. I quickly grab like on the on our nest that has been open, holding myself to it. Give me a dexterity check, will you? Yes. And uh, Remus. Six. Six plus one seven. Close. Seven. Success. The uh, dangerous scaffolding at that marked the top of the ship. Uh, not be not affecting you in any way, but the the ma the boy is he slips down and is now underneath some of that scaffolding in uh, bent or in a kind of an awkward way. He's like, ah, oh, groans. Clearly his leg's broken as well. Let's get out of here, guys. Push through. Um, push through the door. I reach underneath the, the um, young man's seat, grab his bag, sling it over my shoulder, holding onto the harness. Look over. Where's the exit? It should be just over there. They just stamp these things out. Okay, I push the door open. I prop myself out enough where I still feel secure, and I, I look around to see what's what our situation is. Door easily opened with the control panel uh, uh, next to it. Um, opens up. Uh, the the door opens upward though, and uh, it's just there's there's just the lip of the of the pod between you and the outside. Um, you're approximately 25 feet up in the air, dangling from a, uh, the pod is 25 feet up in the air, dangling from a large tree. Below you is, below the pod is a number of limbs uh, and a very rapidly moving river. All right, Outside gentlemen. in the world of hell, is the bright purple skies the foliage outside is uh, a mixture of greens and blues a number of wild flowers of all sorts of colors sounds that are alien to spacefarers uh, ring out a constant buzzing of that a uh, planet dweller would recognize the sound of insects this then, is hell. Ah, uh ah. -huh, uh -huh. uh, a few birds fly past the uh, opening of the pod. I slowly make my way to, uh, toward the opening. Stick my head out. Well, look like we're in a bit of a pickle. I dig my bag. It's probably safest if we climb up and then down the tree. We don't want to fall in that river. Andrus helps Theodore. Brace himself along on the wall as he's. I go ahead and latch the uh, the bag across my my shoulder as well. What, what if does we, it look like? What if we fall go back into our seat? Bring back the harness down. One of us could go and try to dislodge the pod. The pod would probably like protect us if we fall. I uh, I don't know about you. I. I don't like the idea of going down a river in this pod. It's a good play to drown. Well, the pod I, is going to float. I make We're going to end up in a nice beach somewhere. Why would it float? It's a big metal thing. I start. Well, I, I make my way down to the. Uh, You've never seen a ship before. Ship? No, I don't go in. I was a ground pounder, man. We don't go in the. I walk down to where the guy is uh, moaning, twisted in the scaffolds. I bend down close to him when I get to him. The old man is uh, crouching uh, already next to that younger man, uh, trying to, with his 
clearly weakly trying to pull pull the boy out from his tangled situation. I turn to the old man. Uh, you better go with the others. Uh, I'll take care of this guy. I, I, I got it. I got it. I can help. I I whisper to him so he can only hear. There's only one help that's going to help him now, and that's a quick release. Are you prepared to do that? You got to end a wounded animal. There's no one helping us. We got to help ourselves. I got this. He is he, you, is uh, he kin? Is he kin to you? Is this your he looks son? At, he looks at you as the color drains from his face and uh, stands up quietly. He begins to climb his way up to the exit of the pod. I watch him go. Doc. I'm going to climb up to the top of the pod and uh, see how easily I think it would be to climb and or dislodge the pod from the tree we're hanging in. You can make um, athletics dexterity check. Okay, my athletics, I have, I'm pretty sure. I have athletics zero, uh, dexterity plus one. Or five plus whatever I get for the athletics. Zero. So the pod is uh, gotten slippery from some sort of alien uh, goop off these broken branches and leaves and plants, causing you to slip. Ouch. Okay. I had to grab hold of the pod on my way down. Andrus helps Theodore up towards the the exit. Come on, come on. Wait, let me check. Uh, let me check what is in those bags that they gave us. Maybe there's something useful. And I start like ruffling to my bag. <clears throat> so, um, William, go ahead and give me a strength check. Um, inside the bag is uh, five, six, seven. Inside the bag is a canteen full of water, a uh, and a wrapped up. Um, it's like a package. It looks uh, it's military issue uh, food cube. good for one month nutrition well they didn't give us any luxury for sure I bend down over the injured young man now just him and I look kid you're hurt bad it's it's not good it's fine it's fine no 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 it's not fine What's your name? My name is Isaac. Isaac Blasky. As I, I look I look him up and down. Isaac, tell me your story. And I wait for him to recount a little bit. As he starts telling his story. I was a space pirate. Yeah? And I got caught at a border check with some contraband. I... Open up the bag, look through, looking for cigarettes. Nothing. All right. Anyways, I, what kind I of left, contraband? I'm left behind a, a wife. What's her name? Kid. Angie. Well, I'm sure Angie will be just fine, I say. Tell me about your kid. And then as he starts to talk, I put my hands around his head and snap his okay. neck. Then I close his eyes. Just leave him there. What's your William. assessment of Will William? What's your assessment out there? William, you've taken uh, two points of damage. 
already. So, but I am hanging on. Sacrifice your body. Okay, so I uh, secure myself back on top of the thing, and I try to get a lay of the land. How how what our situation is? At the top of the above the pod, you can see that a uh, what is keeping you in the tree. What's keeping the pod in the tree is a uh, group of three parachutes uh, tied with a with some cord to the pod. Um, there's a number of trees around the tree that you're the tree that the pod is uh, tied up in. Is another. Looks to be 50 feet taller than where you are. Mm. Difficult to say. In the canopy. I assess the possibility of jumping towards the tree and grabbing uh, lower limbs if I think that would be feasible. I think to myself, well, okay, is, uh, what are we hung up on? Are we. We're. Are we just hanging, dangling? We're hanging from a tree. It looks to be a very, very rough climb. The ropes are wet. I do not advise trying that. We can either okay. try to cut ourselves down, in which case someone would have to stay out here and be in a very bad way. But I think we can probably jump to the tree and grab some lower branches. We might take a bit of a spill, but I think we'll be all right. It's about 25 feet down. Could we use the rope from the parachute? Well, we could probably cut a couple ropes from down here, but they'd still be attached up top. Again, we'd have to climb. Can you find some? Well, do we have anything to cut with? Do you, is there any rope that are not taut, that are like loose? I checked some of the ropes, check their condition. I leave Isaac's corpse, walk up to the old man by Andrus, and and uh, Teddy. The old man looks at you and nods. The, there is a, at the top of the pod, that uh, very precarious climb covered in some unknown jungle slime uh, is difficult to traverse. But there are a couple of ropes that you can that there is some slack in. We got a couple of visible ropes from forward. visible from the entrance of the pod. Do I let me see? I try to assess whether I could get any pull any one of the shoots, three shoots down, so we have access to both ends of the rope. I start giving. I look at one which I think is the least tongue tangled up, and I start. Yanking on that, see if I can get it loose. Isaac, uh, look, or I'm sorry, the old man looks uh, out from the the uh, the door. It says, uh, "You'll have to climb around the pod to get to those to those ropes, young man." I steady the old man, making sure that he's. Stable, not going to fall out. Thank you. That's your. Yeah, I'll, I'll reach out toward the to the door, and I'll try to grab one of those ropes. Uh, okay. Uh, Andres, uh, what, what, what do I call you, Andres? Is that your name? Yes, you can call me Andres. Okay, uh, so... so... You know, what, what do you do now? Like, what are we doing? We're not, we can't we're, stay here, right? No, we're going to get ourselves down. We're just trying to figure out how to get... We how high up are we? one of the ropes here. Uh, oh. 25 feet, apparently. That's it? Uh, no telling what you're going to land on if you, if you fall, though. That's well, the problem. Let's see how that would work. I turn back to Isaac's corpse. You hear another... Uh, croaking or groaning of the uh, of the of whatever fastener is attaching the 
the rope to the pod and then it pops <clears throat> and the pod uh, once again changes its axis and swings again wildly um oh. with uh but the adorn Check. Jeez. I brace <laughs> steadily, hanging on to Remus as well, and the old man. <laughs> I'm holding tight to that rope that I got. Yeah. See, guys. I'll grab the girders near Isaac's body. I wrap my arms. Yeah, I'm the, uh, up something there. Arms. Are we closer? Are we closer to the ground? <laughs> he shouts. Well, that depends on what you mean by closer. We are closer <laughs> to falling to our demise. Well, it's Those only 25 feet. Good. We used to jump into rivers all the time. 25 feet, Remus says. I don't know. Hey, sorry about this, Isaac. I pick up Isaac from the ground, and I drag him over to the door. And once at the door, I flip him out the door to see how he falls. And then I watch him hit, just to try to gauge how how big of a splash he makes on the river below. Poor young man, compound fracture, third degree, lacerations to the skull. Uh, he wouldn't have been any use. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you you, you got it, boss. You got it. Yeah, uh, the young man blops down to the river and uh, splashes in it. Doesn't go too deep. Just kind of floats along for a little bit. Oh. Gets stuck on a couple rocks. Well, he doesn't seem to have hit any rocks. Remus climbs out the door and with two bags in hand drops to the river below. All right. Make an uh, endurance trip. Man's got a pair of cojones on him. A six. No, a seven. Sorry, seven. Okay. So I hit the water. What are you doing? I tried to hoist myself on the rope that I grab, that I grab, and pull myself up, trying to get out of the capsule. I don't want to be stuck in there if it falls. Athletics. Uh, yeah, four. Um, I want uh, to use your other check. I was using your other checks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm hoisting myself out of the capsule toward where the 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 chute is attached to the tree. He's standing on the tree. Maybe if we pull see. on this together, we can get one of these to come down free and have some rope to work with. And it would not be a bad thing to have rope in this place. Clear view of the uh, last connection between the pod and the and the chute. Um, maybe moments before it pops as well, sending the pod to the river. Well, it looks like our situation has made up some, you know, our minds up for us, gentlemen. I suggest we get out of here very quickly. Andrus. Andrus braces. I brace for my impact. <laughs> it falls. Guys, you have to make a choice. Either, like, you fall with the pod, you fall without the pod, or you try to get out. Um, at the bottom uh, where Remus lands, the uh, river is a little shallower than you, than would be safe to jump into. Um, you take uh, three points of damage. I kick off uh, the bottom surface, grab my two bags, 
and look to the nearest shore and start swimming as quick as I can to that shore. Pod swinging above you precariously. Yeah, I look up nervously at that pod, swimming as fast as I can towards the shore. Andrews. One dead I, Isaac floats next to you. I help the old man over to the one of the seas. Grab, grab hold. We'll, 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 we'll carry this out on, on to the to the ground. And uh, I go for one of the seats as well. Ourselves I'm back in. Climb back. I'm going to climb back inside. I say we just ride this down, gentlemen. It looks shallow, like shallow water. If we strap ourselves in, we should be all right. I start strapping myself into the seat. The uh, last fastener pops and the pod crashes down through the remaining limbs, making a loud noise as it goes uh, through the jungle and lands in the river. Water floods into the pod uh, below you, Theodore. <clears throat> yeah, I'm holding to the rope. Still ain't up in this tree. I say, oh fuck, maybe I should have stayed in there. I'm trying to climb on the rope to reach the the the, the tree so I can hang myself to something more solid. And I look okay. downstairs, see what's happening. People come out of there. I see Remus moving out of the river. I say, well, this motherfucker made it. I kick uh, the pod narrowly missing me, cascading water propelling me towards the, the shore. Um, I can feel uh, twisted an ankle. Uh, no, no big deal. I grit my teeth, swim harder. Pod assists uh, the river in claiming the body of Isaac as it drags it underwater. Inside the pod, water rushing in quickly. I help the old man out from his seat, grabbing both of our bags, handing the bag over to him. Get ready. Um, William and Andrews, go ahead and give me an endurance check, please. Two plus two, four. Ten. Okay. William, you take three damage. Ooh. The old man uh, is, oh, I think I popped a rib. Is he, uh, <sighs> is for you, Andrus. I grab him and crank him up with me. And when you we... pull him up, he whispers into you, don't let him get me. His <laughs> arm around your, your shoulder. And I muster my way to get through the door as it floods in to... Kind of float my way up as it fills. It is uh, the with the the. It's a bit. You kind of you. Uh, there's there's a little bit of a swim out of the pod, um, dragging the old man. I'm gonna need a endurance or athletics endurance or athletics. Which is it? Average difficulty. Use what you use. Seven. Go. Okay, oh, I'm boy, just gonna. You're swimming out. It's a routine for you. Okay, I'm gonna get out, unstrap myself, grab my bag, and go for that exit. It's time to get out of Dodge. Six plus. Eight. Okay. Um, the old man clearly is having trouble staying with you, Andrus. Uh, I try to keep him with me. Come on! Come on! I encourage him. Use your strength! Use your arms! He's underwater. Ah! Uh, come! Using his... his uh, 
his social skills, acuities. Pushes a couple times. Ugh. You're not dragging him as much through the. Uh, it's not. It's not as much of a chore to bring him up to the, for the last bit of the swim. Both able to. As as you both breach the water, he takes a deep breath. <gasps> Just floats on his back, resting. I carry him along using my seamanship. He's all those years, the vessel. The water swimming. just like occasionally comes up and down, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> just like floating off. Theodorian. I realize I am won't be able to uh, detach the the rope from the, the shoe, right? I have nothing to cut it or anything, so that's pretty pointless. Sitting there on the branch, I kick off my shoes with my feet. I just like take them off, then carefully I take off my jumpsuit. Then I put the the jumpsuit. I wrap them around my arm on each on each arm, around the trunk of the tree. Put my bare feet on the trunk and I try to wiggle myself down. Okay. I reach the shore, toss the two bags that were with me onto the shore. I look back to see Andres and the old man struggling, and I wade back into the river to go assist. I uh, try to you make need, my way to Andres and the old man. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Go. William? Oh, okay. Six, seven, plus one, eight. So I make my way to them. I try to help drag the old man out as quickly as possible. <clears throat> I keep on heaving along, helping, helping the old man up to the shoreline. Dragging him along. <sighs> let's, let's, we, what a terrible day. This is horrifying, but we'll make it, man. We'll make it. In Arenas? Uh, I assist pulling him up. I notice the old man wincing as we support him. You injured, old man. Uh, no, no, it's nothing. What's your name? Edmund. Edmund. Tell me your story, Edmund. <laughs> it's uh, uh, not, not, <laughs> nothing of importance. Uh, I'm fine. I reach he to tries the to side. Bring himself up to his to sit. No, no, no. I stop him. <clears throat> I put my hand on his side, probe around, remembering my field medic days. I try to examine. Uh, six. You've cracked a rib. You'll be fine. Just take it easy. It's yes. cracked a rib. Yeah, it's best to go ahead and get his uh, shirt off. Get it bound around his chest. He starts spewing off a lot of medical jargon, which totally goes over top of Remus's head. Uh, shirt off. Yeah, sure. I can do that. Shirt off. All right. Skin the cat. And with very little gentleness, I rip the shirt off the old old man. And the rest uh. of us. Get, he starts. Uh, Andrus goes ahead and pulls off his shirt and starts pulling it off. Let's... Get, get yourself declothed. We need to dry off our clothes. We won't survive out here. You doing? You fail. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, my my feet slip from the trunk, and then like I'm still holding to the to the my my jumpsuit, but I'm dragging down the tree, like my <laughs> chest and face being rubbed on the trunk. quite painful and take two damage at some point there's a little branch that uh 
what which my jumpsuit caught on, slow down my fall a bit, made it part way through, but I got no other option now, so I need to keep going down. I tried to refocus a bit and get down the rest of the tree. The bottom of the tree is a uh, um, slippery bank on one on one side, on the other side, the river. Bank is a little muddy. The heat is oppressive in this river bank. I look for my shoes once I once I reach the bottom. The old man naked on the river bank. It's like showing his uh old man ribs <laughs> and a large bruise on the side beginning to, f to form. I assist him and start bandaging up his... getting him all sutured up. Uh, snug it tight on him. He moans there. for a moment and then uh, sees... looks at Remus and his protests stop. Re I look down at him. Nod slowly. Then I hear the crashing through a tree. I look over and see the Theodorian falling from the, climbing down the tree. And I notice one of his shoes floating down the river. Uh, you might need that. I hesitate for just a moment. Then again, no, I'll, I'll get it this time. I wade into the river to grab his shoe before it drifts too far away. I turn to assess the pod. Does it look accessible to me? Um, assessing the pod. The pod uh, is not visible from the top of the river. It is sunk below the, the water. Above it, directly above it, there is uh, three parachutes up in the in the tree limbs. Number of cords just kind of swinging with the wind. The buzz of the of the insects in the in the uh, forest loud, louder than uh, as loud as engine noise. Well, doesn't look like we're getting any scrap off the pod. Hopefully we can get those shoots down and have some rope and silk to work with. I make my way up to the tree. I sit down and I assess my injuries because I've been gotten beaten up today. <clears throat> I okay. assist the old man upwards. Say, come, come, let's get, let's get closer to more drier, higher land here. And takes them up towards the uh, uh, more above the tree. Looking around. I got my feet in the mud deep like uh, all the way to the ankle in my tidy whitey put my jumpsuit around my neck. I start making my way like toward the, 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 the rest of the group. I cross the river. I get in the river. Then I assess how deep it is. Well, I have to swim, I guess. Give a quick stroke. Move toward the guys. I look over, see Theodorian swimming. I regain the, the bank, and when I do so, I just out of curiosity check the size of this shoe. Uh, that were a pretty close fit to my size. Then I uh, walk over to where William is nursing his wounds. So what's your name? You can call me Bill. 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 I, I knew man, a Bill the, once. The old man, um, as you help him up, Andrus, he slips. His feet slip out from under him uh, in the very slippery mud that, you're sitting, that you were sitting in. He was sitting in. And uh, falls down. 
and he inaudibly looks just like, and then he very slowly gets up to his feet more uh, more obviously putting his weight on you as he puts his arm around your shoulder. I uh, assess his full injury looking him over of course being a full on surgeon in his time. He has a uh, Looks to be two cracked ribs. He, he, uh, I readjust things and make sure everything's sutured up nice and tight on him. Help him breathe. Keep everything in. Come on, old man. You'll make it. You have training. Oh, yes. If I only had the tools. I forgot that about you. You are a doctor or something, right? Uh, yes, that, uh, I have uh, uh, much training in my years. Yes. I suppose when you're noble born, you can have weird hobbies like medicine. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, don't, uh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Thank you for your kindness. I'll help hey. you get off this rock if I can. See what we could do. What What are your skill sets, old man? I I was a journalist. <laughs> yeah, journalists I, uh, and, and politicians in the much alike. <laughs> Theodore, I reached the shore where the other guys are with my my jumpsuit around my neck, like loosely tied up. Come off the water, super slim fit body, but like quite damaged now, like a lot of like big rash on the chest, busted lip. Get out of the river, just before like I, when I still my feet in it, I crouch down, I squat down, and I pick up like the, a big flat, flat rock that I find in the riverbed. And I move toward the guy Move toward Remus. Anybody like took a uh, my pouch in the in the pod? I uh you mean these bags? No, I yeah. I took the one from Isaac. I hunt out the the soaking wet shoe. I think this is yours. I take the shoe. You have the other one? I didn't see the other one. I just saw one. Slip the shoes in my in my in my brief sim you look pretty banged up what do you say your name was you can call me ted ted teddy i reach out my hand i'm remus nice meeting you remus you got uh pretty scraped up there you okay kind of burn but i'll survive right on maybe i should have a uh, jump up with you I was the, I was the drop. Just like back in, uh, back in the old days, we'd go out to the swimming hole, you know, do the old cliff diving. Hmm. Wasn't that bad. A bit high for my taste. Just think that uh, maybe some of these old guys are not used to the adventure. Let's all get together. Let's get the old group together. Hey, everybody. Let's uh, let's introduce ourselves to each other, I guess, since we're roommate now <clears throat> that we are that we are my name is William William DeVels formerly of his Imperial Majesty's service I was dismissed under questionable circumstances I feel but here we are now I suggest we immediately start looking to shelter and means to start a fire yeah if you anybody got any useful skill now it's time to put them forward as well right Yes, I have some light medical training and survival skills. I was a Marine. I spent a lot of time out in unpleasant places like this. Yeah. Sorry to say it. Uh, I, I think I might need to rest for a 
a short time. Yeah. I, you... I have many useful skills, though. Yes, yeah, so you just relax, sir. We'll take care yeah. of you. I, I can. I cook a pretty mean uh, beef stew. Well, that's going to become an easy when it comes. We're going to find beef. That's true, but uh, we, we do uh, we do have our kits. Pulls out his you think, kit. You, you guys think that there's uh, there's beef in the like purple beef around here? This doesn't look like any. I don't know. Can we even eat any of this stuff? I, I accidentally pull the... one of the leaves off one of the trees, and it's like blue. I don't know. It'll be based on retinol instead of chlorophyll. It should be edible if a bit unpleasant. <laughs> it's bitter. I extend my hand toward Remus and I and I do a sign like that, like meaning like give me my hand that doesn't hold the rock. Uh yeah. You gotta get one in the pouch. Isaac's pouch. You want this pouch? Yeah, you give me that rock. You want that <laughs> rock is not what we miss around. Well, but it's about like the only rock. tool we have now. It's better than nothing. Pick any rock you want in the river. I like that rock. Why don't you Fine. hand it over to me? I gave him to him. <laughs> I take the rock. I have to. That's a nice rock. <clears throat> I look over at the old man sleeping on the ground. Here's the pack. I toss it to Theodore. <clears throat> I reach into the pack, drink a bit of water from the canteen, a tiny bit. I, I, I'd recommend we ration that. Yes. Yeah. I crouch down next to the old man with this flat rock in my hand, right next to his head. And then I, I lift up his head and put the rock underneath it. There, so you're not resting your head in mud. I look over at Theodorian. Uh, 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 thank you. I pat his chest. Just a touch too hard. <clears throat> You'll be okay. So, uh, what skills do you have there, man? I'm pointing to Remus. Uh, me? I know how to kill things. Ah. I could tell. Hmm. That will likely be useful in this environment. There's no doubt all manner of large fauna in a forest like this. Yeah, and animals, too. Mm. I'm going to start looking around for stuff, uh, small scraps of wood and small vines I can use to make a fire bow with. Yeah, I'm, uh, I go back to the riverbed. I pick up another rock that's similar to the one I just gave to Remus <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> and then I move toward the trees. I look for a, 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 a tree that I can make a staff out of. And then I use the rock to chop it down slowly. I walk over to where William is is going. I say, hey, where where are you going? Where are you going? I'm looking for materials to build us a fire. We ah. want to keep animals away. We want to keep warm. It could get very chilly here at night, as oppressive as it is during the day. I suggest we stay in this area because we want to get those ropes and that silk down from that tree. And if that pod isn't too, under too much deep water, we might be able to dive in there, get some metal. I see. What about that sap that's uh, creeping down from that tree there, from the damage that we've done? You think it might be of any use to possibly use in fire building or something? It's possible. Once we get a fire going, we'll see what we can burn here. Uh, I'll help you gather wood. I Excellent. proceed Thank to help you, gather stuff as well. Faint sound comes across the wind unmistakable sound of a weak uh engine oh. could be rescued 
<laughs> is that our rescue? I look over and see Theodorian uh, making himself some kind of spear. Uh, that looks like a good idea. I go over and try to copy what he's doing. But I'm looking more for a big club. Yeah, I'm I'm just like finishing cutting like a break, take the balance of the of the stuff. All right, that would do. Yeah. I, I look at Remus trying to uh, imitate me. I told him I spent quite a few years living in a place like that. Well, am I doing it right, I say? I think you'll be all right in that environment. That can be an opportunity for you. The modern world isn't too kind to you, no? No, man. It sure ain't. Sure Should ain't kind at all. Nature. Everyone just talks so fast all the time. and Yeah, I, I get left behind. And then I take the fall, right? I'm just the fall guy. The engine noise is getting uh, louder. I look Obviously. for more of a clearing so that I can see, get more of an advantage to sight this thing. So further down the river, um, kind of you, uh, it it winds off to the to the right, and I can't see what happens to the river at that point. It's just kind of jungle beyond that. Um, there is in the distance you can see a or in the distance there is a uh, a large mountain start of a range as you can as uh, it's the start of a range and on the side on one side it's very rough and sheer but on the other side it looks like it's more of a gradual slope there's lots of uh, uh large trees around i i perk and up to everybody i say hey Let's see if we can get ourselves to a higher ground if possible. Maybe that should be our goal. We'll be able to get more of a assessment of our surroundings. Perhaps we might see something better from up there. You go ahead. I want to stay working near the water. And I'm not sure I want to be seen by whatever is flying around. And I duck toward more the woods. I'll come along with you. It's best we scout out this, the situation. Gather up some wood as we go along. I think it would be fair. I take my yeah. sh shirt and I start bundling small pieces of wood as as I walk along. I look, uh, I look at between Theodorian, Teddy, and Andrus. My eyes narrow. Like I'm trying really hard to think, and then my eyes dart back to the old man that's just left there on the bank with his head resting on a stone that's so uh are we just leaving that guy the old man uh hearing you Stru uh stru struggles for a moment but gets up to his feet holding the side his well bandaged side and uh says i'm gonna walk further into the woods to hide from this whatever's coming i walk up to him throw my arm underneath his uh his shoulder to support his weight and then i whisper to him why would you hide what do you think is coming this is a prison planet they want our stuff right our bags they want that i, I don't know I help him. I help him. Shh, old man, stay quiet. And I walk in the direction that uh, that Ted went, dragging uh, the old man Andrews, with me. Andrews, I'll, I'll be over here. Calls out. Yeah, I, I got him, boss. Shoulder. I got him. Oh, is he? I see Remus coming with the old man. I said, man, I thought the, the I thought the goal of this planet is that we'll be left on alone at last, and now they're gonna come and check on us with their fucking drone or some shit. No, this old guy says that uh, 
It might be other prisoners coming to loot our corpses. Well, at least that's what he says. With some I kind of engine? I, I don't know any. What do you know? You said you were a journalist. Aren't you a journalist? <laughs> Teddy? Long time ago. I left it behind. This world in hell. It's a, a bit of a controversial spot for the Empire. They assure it's humanitarian. But basically they send the worst prisoners here to live out the rest of their lives. They've done it many times. But we can live our life here. We got water. We're going to find food. Stuff live here. So we can live here. Of course. It's an essential life. Back to the basic. But it's living how we should live. All this luxury and comfort from the modern world. That's what is make us weak and soft. That's why I left it behind. Well, I sure wish I had my combat armor, though, all the same. Anderson. You got what God gave you. And he gave you a lot, I can tell by looking at you. I raised my club. You say it. Now it's time to test our true worth. Andrews. Uh, I keep on trekking through the forest, keeping an eye on back, making sure I know where I'm going. Come on, William. We gotta let's get to a, just a little higher ground so we can get a good vantage point here. Or he looks up at one of the trees. Uh, I sure hate to have to climb one of these to see what's around in the area, but I don't know at hill. How far do you think that is? Two, two or three two. kilometers? About that, a couple miles. We should be able to do that within an hour. Let's just make sure we stay oriented. We don't want to get lost. Uh, yes, yes. And keep an eye out for tracks. We don't okay. know what the hell is out here. He calls back to, hey boys, boys! Calls back to Theodore and Remus, boys! I hear uh, Andrews calling, but I ignore it. Sound I'm looking for air. a little moss and tinder, something dry. So, the sound of uh, the, the forest is uh, typical of most plants uh, outside of the blue vegetation. The uh, sound of the engine is significantly louder. It's uh, here. Or there is a sound of rustling through the trees by William and Andrus. Um, get, get down! Out, get down! Duck down into uh, some cover. Going to give me a uh, stealth. Okay, my stealth. Okay, I have basic stealth. Six plus. Three, four. Six. Okay. It's uh, it's really loud. It's like a, it's very high pitched noise. It's like, and then you hear uh, some some rustling or there's rustling in the bushes a vehicle drives past the two of you it's like a it's a it's a little dirt bike wheels are made of some kind of weird material um looks plant-based and uh there's a a man sitting on top of it with a uh, 
bright pink um, breastplate. It's been marked with uh, some kind of muck into a, into a design. It's got a helmet made of the same material, a number of large, colorful feathers coming off one side. Those same feathers can be seen adorning the bike. He uh, drives past and uh, he uh, stops 10 feet away from William. He looks around. Sir, nod. And he looks my at, hands he looks behind at my back. I, I motion to stay to uh, Andros to stay where he is because they don't appear to see him. He looks at you after you get his attention and uh, he says, uh, Orange! He points at you. Uh, yes, a number of clubs. other people come out. A number of uh, three other men come out. They look like they're a little out of breath, breathing heavily. And uh, the man on the on the bike pulls a spear from his uh, from his bike and sets up. Lay down. Well, I'm a little scraped up. I'd rather not lay in the dirt. Why don't you just tell me what it is you would like? Take him. And the three oh, men no, don't go run to attack you. Okay, uh, my hand to hand. So, is, where's my unarmed? Yep, one. So, the first one that comes near me, I just straight arm him up right in the jaw. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Uh, do I get a strength on that? Yes. So, ten. Roll your <clears throat> damage. Okay. Uh, damage for hand to hand is how much? One d six. Yeah. Plus, plus your strength. Yeah. Teddy. Ted. Four, five, six. Did you hear this? You hear what's going on? Okay. He uh, falls back into the bushes and tries to scurry up to his feet. Two nets fly at you in your direction. Okay, I will attempt to dodge out of the way. Okay. 10, 11. Okay, one of the nets sails uh, where you were standing, the other one lands on, on top of you. Uh, it's very weighted, slowing you down. Okay. I go I... for... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Andrews. I go for the downed man, pushing myself out of the bushes with one of the sticks in my hand and start beating on him. Nine. Three. Quack. His uh, pink breastplate adequately absorbs that hit. But uh, as he looks surprised to see you. And um, the man on the bike begins to ride his uh, or takes a step towards uh, towards you Andrus and tries to stab you with a spear you decent So you're going to take uh, five damage. Ooh. Ah! 
bleeding out. Surrender or die. The other, uh, the other two men um, pull out there. They have uh, little knives crafted of bone. The third man's eventually getting up to his feet with a knife. Puts his hands up. Okay, I put my hand up uh, when Rim is trying to attract my attention to, to that. <clears throat> so I'm going down. They wanted to see what the noise uh, was about. You want to risk your life for people you just met a couple of hours ago? No, I just want the bike. What for? Get us away here. Maybe we can find something else. I don't know. I don't usually do the thinking. There's not much to find there, here. Chieftain shoves a spear in your face, William. Says, uh, surrender. Okay, I duck down onto my, onto my haunches, grab the net behind me, and I attempt to throw it over me, off me, and onto him. Okay. Four, one for deck six. Okay. Oh, I do have the net. the the net is very cumbersome. And uh you're able to get it it's still on top of your head. And he gives you a good stab and You're going to take seven damage. Oh. He says, uh, surrender. The men with knives are starting well, to try to grapple you now. Well, you gentlemen seem to have me at a disadvantage. So I feel I must comply for the moment. I say, good, good choice, good choice, good choice. Looks at you for a long, looks at you for a long second. Trying to, his ears piercing into you, or his eyes, his ears, his eyes piercing into you. It's your mind. I very calmly just take the remainder of the net off me and throw it to the side, cross my arms in front of him, trying to show no sign of the pain I'm in. I tell Remus, however, those people, they don't know we're here. Presumably, we can surprise them and they might have weapons and useful tools. Sounds like the bike. They, they have some weapons. Can you be what? can you be quiet? Circle yeah. them around. You sure? I sure can. I wish you still had that rock I gave you. I got something better now. I heft my baseball bat-sized club. Now I just Let's need circle a around. Agreed. And because these orange shirts aren't going to be helping us here. This isn't exactly army fatigues, but it stands out, doesn't it? I take my my jumpsuit from my neck. I lift and live in the ground. I, I skin myself as well, hand my clothes to the old man, prop him up against the tree. You take the right, I take the left. That's right. I'll stay here. Quiet, yes. old man. Quiet. The uh... We'll be back. The bike, the man driving the bike looks at you for a long moment, William. Looks over to the man at your right and nods at him. 
the man to your right walks over to you and slits your throat Ugh. on the spot. Can I make a dex to dodge this? Did you? Well, as he's coming up to me with the weapon. No. Uh, Doctor, doctor, physician. Good, good. This one's smart. William's body. Why? Body falls over and bleeds out in the ground while uh, the two men push you by the shoulder and take you over to the bike. I'll go willingly. I go willingly. They're putting uh, Andres on the bike to ride behind the chieftain. This chieftain gets on. Remus. Using my recon training from army boot camp and my two tours of duty, I slip through the uh, the undergrowth, angling towards that bike that I mentioned before. My my club in hand. I move like a ghost through the jungle, angling in. On that Theodore. bike. Having lived like for eight years in this kind of environment in the wild, I moved to the jungle like it's my home. And I take a position hidden when I where I can see the guy on the bike. I see them taking Andrews and I get ready to throw my big rock at his face. The man uh, on the bike looks over at Andrus and says, uh, where's the pod? River, it's in the river. Man looks uh, over towards the the river and uh, one of his uh, subordinates says, uh, up there, the shoots, they're up there in the trees. All right, get a get a crew out here to scavenge to scavenge the pod. Says, yes, yes, sir. And they, one of them runs off. The one speaking. Um, the man on the bike begins to turn the bike around to head the other way, and he says. Uh, any other oranges? They died, died, killed, tried to jump at the river. Roll deception. <laughs> Boy. And so much the three. Before. Fourteen. He says, uh, looks around, and uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check, Remus and Theodore. Six. Seven. And um, Remus. I see him looking around. I look over. Ted moves smooth like a jungle cat through the uh, the foliage. I nod. I try to get his attention just with a small hand wave pointing at the guy on the bike. And then I put out the fingers, right? Four, three, two. When I hit one, I jump up. 
Tino, eh? And I throw my rock at the I throw my rock at the guy on the bike. Take my, my staff and I jump off to warn. Roll uh Maybe you know, athletics? Ar archaic range. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Athletics? Athletics, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Roll, roll what you roll what you think's best. That's Seven. And I, I sprint uh, at the because he's repositioned the bike. It's a little off balance. I rush at him with a with a war cry. I take a two handed swing with this club and try to break it off the back of his head. There you do. That's an eight. Okay, success. What are your damages? Twelve damage. <laughs> Oof. Theodore. I run with my staff and I hit one of the other guy that wasn't on the bike. I'm sorry. Damage on the on the rock. Oh, I did it two. Two. You didn't see? Sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the rock uh bounces off the helmet and then he says what was that um just in time to catch a bat square in the nose and uh blops off of the blops off of the bike the bike is uh tipping over andrus i go straight for him and go with with his uh, melee expertise and his knowledge of the of his doctor and give him the old <laughs> across the neck to squeeze him to sleep okay roll it roll a thing whoop oh, whoop that's wrong that's one there we go um there. Nine. <laughs> He's uh very dazed from uh Remus's initial attack. And he's not like barely struggling against your, your arm, Remus. Or the two uh his two subordinates, one of them uh Ten, 10 feet up a tree already trying to get to that parachute uh, jumps down and uh, draws his knife and uh, squares up against Remus. He's going to uh, make a lunge at Remus with his bone knife. Da, da, da. Sorry. There we go. All right. <laughs> Make that five damage. The other one uh, starts trying to kick at Andrus on the on the boss. Gives him a swift kick. And that'll be um, four damage. Ooh. Theodorian. Yeah, I'm, I'm rushing out of the bush with my, my staff, and I try to hit the in the back of the head the guy that just went to kick Andrus. Okay. It's five. Remus, it's a fail. Sweat Sorry. glistening off my muscular body. I look down at the stab wood on my side and I growl and swing my baseball bat looking to break bones. That's a seven. Okay. Right, 
test and rolls. He tries to parry it. Brings his knife up. You get him. <laughs> sorry, you're pixelated. The, oh, the baseball bat uh, comes smashing into his pathetic parry. Six damage. My smile. He's off balance. Andrus. Holding on until he goes limp. Arrgh! All right, he's uh, his uh, awareness begins to come back to him as he uh, tightens his grip on on your arm, attempting to kind of attempting to pull it off, fighting your. Okay, go ahead and give me a contested roll here. <laughs> Breaks. He uh, st- st- uh, st- struggles to get to his feet. And uh, the adoring. Yeah, I'm going to try to uh, jab the guy with my, my staff. In the in the kidney, the henchman. Yeah, the henchman. The one that was like uh, kicking it. I was uh, buttering him. These are gonna be contested now. All right. Yeah, that's gonna be a nine for me. Oh. Two. His armor deflects it completely. He's the care pace armored guys. Um, Remus. Seeing that my opponent's off balance, I press the attack. Um, going for a, for a blow, trying to knock him down to his knees. He's breathing heavily. Eight. He tra- Attempts to uh, uh, nine, counterattack the zone. He rushes forward and uh, grabs your arm, just tries to sneak a quick stab in. Doing a uh, Four damage. <sighs> the uh, the man um, facing off against you, Andrus. Andrus hauls off and wails on him as hard as he can. He's he's just gonna try and shrug it off. Get to his uh, get to his bike. So that connects. And does five. Bam! He, he's trying to he's trying to pull his bike up and he drops it again as you uh punch him and uh, lets out a roar. Like an animal. The adoring. Yeah, I'm gonna try to um so the guy not not turned toward me because he constantly my last. So now I'm gonna try to jab my staff in his throat. Good. That's gonna be eight. Got him. Four. His unarmored throat. Just and he grabs his throat. Tries to breathe. Drops to his knees, looking helpless, pleadingly at you. Or falling over. Remus. I'm done playing nice. I let go of the 
of the club. And then with my too close, too close for the club, I go straight for his eyes to hook my thumb into his eye right through his open visor. He's going to try and grapple with you. It's going to be a, uh, a seven. Struggling with you in that same thing. And he's a uh, knife drops. And he's starting to get the upper hand. He's got a big grin on his face. Not so tough. He uh, is trying to get his hands around your neck. Andrus. I roll, grabbing the rock that was thrown by Theodore, and then go uh, go ahead and face off again against the leader. Try to smash him. He's going to try and spear you. Or he doesn't have a spear. He's going to try and uh, tackle you. And does uh, so he just literally spears you except that move, right? So he like drives his shoulder in the uh, hardness of his armor makes the impact that much harder. Make it uh knocking you to the ground for two damage. You know I if I just like drive the guy in my with my any Grab his throat, so I bring back my stuff, my stuff, and I jab him in the face, straight in the nose. It's gonna be eight. It's just he's unconscious. Is he like? He's like. All right, I just like bam! I can do it with the butt of my staff, straight in the face. Put another two damage. He's done. He's uh, just holding his throat, head slightly moving as you poke it. And uh, Remus. My naked torso slick with sweat. I spin in the guy's grip and try to flip him over my shoulder. Uh, it's going to be six uh, plus three. So that's going to be nine. Yeah. He sails over my shoulder. He uh, falls on his back. <clears throat> He's got like wide eyes looking up at you. You do another action. You know? I, uh, I don't wait. I, as he's on the back, his back in front of me. I take the heel of my shoe and I slam it into his face. Okay. And roll your damage. Uh, one. He uh, turns it out of the way and you uh, stomp his shoulder. Struggling to get up. Andrus. That's tight. Uh, and he's top I hang on to him and and try to grip as closely as possible with a grapple he's just like (laughs) top you fair like a beast yeah four (laughs) being heavily wounded Ah! he just puts his arm over you and just starts trying to pummel the shit out of you Yeah, let me roll it. You take another six damage. Ooh. And I go unconscious. Still not. <laughs> Just like punching, punching in the face. What are you doing? I grabbed the weapon that the guy that I just like down had. And I tried to jam in the guy that just fucking made in con- unconscious and just just roll damage it's going to be uh plus two to the d6 that's going to be a tree 
Okay. Um, he goes, Ugh! and uh, rolls off, rolls off of uh, Andrus Remus. I reach down to where I drop the club, retrieve it. Then hopefully with enough time before this guy gets onto his feet, I slam Scrambling the club. Just... Yeah, I slam the club into him again. All right. Test. That's gonna be nine. God, man, this guy. <laughs> he uh, ridiculous. He manages to get to his feet and duck under the the swing, the club, and then pulls his knife out with a pure attitude. He says, uh, "Not so easy, Orange. Why don't you take that armor off and let's do this." You got to earn the armor, Orange. Nice color. <laughs> Goes really well with your eyes. This must be a prison planet. Theodorian. Yeah, I'll try to uh, stab the guy that that I just tried to stab again. He's right? going to try and uh, evade your attack. Get to his yeah. feet. That's a seven for me. Got him. Yeah. Eight. You, uh, he just, he's, he's dead. He's dying here. So, all right. He's going out. So you can put my him. blade, like, find purchase. Look at him dying. And then I turn toward Remus. He's got a he's got a grit to his teeth as he watches you with hate in his eyes. It's like Argh! as a little blood starts trickling down his mouth, Argh! and then he just goes Argh! falls over. No longer growling. Remus looks like your boss man's no more. You still in this fight? I keep the baseball bat kind of ready. My club ready he looks at We're still uh, doing you. this he looks at you and just uh runs away that's what i thought <laughs> disappearing in the juggling moments i i dropped to my I'm gonna knees start running after him wounded. say again i'm gonna start running after him all right if i can catch up with him what means roll athletics athletics athletic dexterity all right, that's going to be eight, nine. No, eight, sorry. All right. He's managing to uh, keep distance from you. I'm going to make I a, uh, I give me a survival check. You want to continue? No, I give up. After, like, I, I purchased him a bit. If I see I'm not able to catch him after, like, I give up. As he keeps, as he uh, begins to pass you, you hear him kind of laughing gleefully. <laughs> hmm. War Chief's dead! Like... War Chief's dead! He just like starts calling that as he runs through the forest or the jungle. <laughs> I'll turn back toward like a Turn around and go back toward Remus. Badly cut. I limp over to where Andrus is unconscious. I lean down, check his vitals. Wouldn't you know it? Still alive. Then I look over this armor from the downed enemies and their weapons. I start moving towards that. A uh, well-fashioned, if not overly ornate spear lies on the ground next to the war chief, as the, his henchman called him. His, one of his dead henchmen next to him, also another set of armor, 
looks to be um, it's about as well made as the chieftains, but less decorated. The bike rumbling next to the uh, next to the three of you. It's a functioning little dirt bike sitting there. Strange plant based wheels and but with a metal frame with a uh, lug with a <clears throat> sorry a uh, unicorp logo attached to one of the I walk over pieces. the bike uh, using my my skill with wheeled vehicles I attempt to ascertain uh, Oh yeah, this is how you turn it on. There's how you turn it off. Here's the control mechanism. It's a simple enough uh, machine. So I turn it off not to waste any fuel and wait for uh, for Ted to come back. The gas tank is three quarters full. As I arrive and I see like Remus on the bike and Andrew's down. I go toward Andrew's, I lean down over him. He's still he's still alive. He's still alive. I checked him. Uh, I can't say though. as much for William. That guy, uh, they gave him a permanent smile. Yeah. Should we do the same to him? Mm. He did have some good skill, better than I did. If we get injured, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm cut up pretty bad. I could use his medical skills. Will he be able to? help himself in that environment in jail like that. What about you? Well, time will tell, but I know how to use these. I look down at the, at the weapons that are laid out and I know how to use this. And I pat the, the gas tank of the, of the makeshift dirt bike. Yeah. I used to have one of those when I was a, a lad. I look at one of the bone knife, look at around, test the edge. That's going to come in handy. You want to, I guess like one of those guys escape. So we probably get we need to get moving. We're probably going to yeah. bring back some other guy, kill their sheep or their chief. He didn't seem too upset about it. I don't know. I don't think want the to... old man's still there. Maybe I'll go check on him. Yeah, but you want to bring that noisy machine with you? No, and it only has three quarters of a tank. I don't know where we're gonna find more gasoline. I don't know where they find that to begin with. That's well, it uh, says raised a lot Unicorp. of question. Maybe the yeah, but Unicorp do everything. So how would they get the bike down here? I assume they would all be like us with nothing but what they can fashion. And they did fashion some stuff and I turn around the knife like that. Smart. But now armor and bike. Armor kind of like that's artisanal, I guess. But Well, you can have the fancy one if you want. I like this plain one just fine. No, I just want to be it's too hot for armor. Let's grab that's right. Let's grab this guy. Let's drag him back to the old man. Maybe the old man knows something about bringing back the dead to life. Well, we just splash some water on his face if he's just sleeping. All right, I'll get his shoulder. I'll get his arms. You get his legs. Let's gather up all this weapons. and. What about this other guy and those bodies? Uh, well, can we dump him in the river? Seem to be wasting a lot of meat. I look down at them. The old men say could make a mean beef stew. I don't know if I'm hungry enough for that yet. We still have these rations, don't we? The ration will last longer than that fresh meat. Yeah. Well, it's an option. It's Let's an drag option. the. Yeah, you say so. 
well, we're going to only carry so much and I'm afraid people are going to be back. So maybe we'll have to leave them behind. Let's try to get this guy. Having a doctor around could be useful. If there's That's what I was like thinking. That. Yeah. Yeah. I grabbed the leg. All right. The old man. man. The old man is uh, long gone with whatever items. I left my packs with him. We're, we're left with them. Well, fleeing to the east. Well, oh, there, there's go with the ration. The ration. No, he's just blazing the trail. I'm sure we could catch him. Dragging this guy. It's time for him to wake up. Let's prop him up against this tree and see if we can rouse him. Groans. Uh, 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 blood spitters out of his mouth. Hey, Doc. <coughs> what hit me? Oh. Oh. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I look over uh. at, at, at Ted. He says he's a mess. He is a mess. Doc. What's your name? Look at yourself. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to patch myself up, I think. Uh, I look over at Ted again. Tell me about your story. What's your name? You said uh, Andrus? Andres Tavichel. I am, I am the chosen duke no of kidding. this sector. And we'll end the session right there. I'm just ready to plunge my bone <laughs> knife into his heart. <laughs> I'm so there. We'll leave it unstated. <laughs> don't, no, you don't. <laughs> what did you guys think of that mess? Ooh. It was hard. It's hard yeah. not having anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Traveler is not a very forgiving system. That is for sure. Oh, you can die know. pretty easily. <laughs> Sorry, what Doc. I couldn't. I couldn't justify this guy keeping you alive after you fought him like two times. You know, mm -hmm. it's pretty like cold world. Yeah. 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 That made sense. It made sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm really well, I really happy. I decided to go talk. Sorry. <laughs> really happy you guys decided to kill Andrew, so that's a cool one. <laughs> yeah. The oh, man, I think the, the setting was cool. But yeah, the did you feel like the combat was long? Like I I don't think it, it wasn't long. I think yeah. we're we're slow. We yeah, I think I don't we know were why. All slow. I don't know why it's we're because all like, they're like significantly better equipped than you. Like yeah. they have armor. Well I thought we oh, were yeah. slow Punching the whole them. session. Like I thought yeah. like yeah, there's just the but, whole session, we were slow. Yeah. I think, I, to be honest, I think the beginning was a bit slow, right? Yeah. The yeah. time before, like the capsule hit the ground, I think that had been stretched a bit too long, if you don't mind yeah. me. And also, like, I got what you're trying to do, present us with a challenge right away with the capsule being off the ground, right? But yeah. because we had nothing, maybe that was like, like we wasted a lot of time there. I think that's a big, that, that was a bit of too big of a challenge uh for like you know i get when, when you want to put a challenge that started session so player can get in the character and start like solving something and work together but yeah i should have just popped the the chords like yeah. Yeah. when the first one popped yeah. first, it didn't, the second, it didn't when you got like, the door open it didn't feel like there was anything we could do about it so it was yeah. kind of like we were just kind of like, yeah, or, or, or like if we're like 10 feet of the of, of the river or, or of the lake yeah when you said 25 like that, feet you know? i'm like that's it i'm jumping like 25 I mean, feet is quite high, man. Yeah, that is high. What's I've, I've high? been a roofer. Oh, I know we, how. <laughs> <laughs> we we so could, you could survive that. it, but we would, we would do that all the time. That's, that's yeah. 25. It was meant. Up. It was meant to punish the less physical. Yeah. That's why I players. dumped the body of the Isaac guy off. I was like, oh, let's see if he hits rocks immediately, then I won't jump. Yeah, no, 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 that was a good. That's a good thinking, I think, because uh, it, it gave a chance to the GM, you know, kind of give you an expectation what to. It was kind of like testing the world in a sense mm -hmm. without uh yeah but yeah and that's something i i think a lot of us uh kind of got like the reflex of doing right we want to have something happening like from the start mm -hmm. 
But uh, like, especially when it's a one shot, a session like that, like we don't know our character yet. We haven't get into character yet. Like we don't know like really the tool and stuff like that. So maybe like showing something a little that that it's solvable a little easier, right? Just like. Like oh you could there's a bunch of things I could have done. Like they could have been like cable, like in the capsule described that we can use as rope or stuff like that, right? Just like <clears throat> Yeah, and um in retrospect, like I didn't really give you guys a way to cut the rope at all. Yeah. I was exactly. thinking like, yeah, go get the rope. And then you're like, I can't do anything. I can't cut the rope off. And I was like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Oops. Yep. Yeah. So that was my fault. I was thinking that you guys could use the rope, but obviously you have to be able to get a section of it. Exactly. Yeah. They probably in 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 hindsight, it would have been probably more prudent for us to go ahead and surrender and find out where these guys were going to take us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I I know how deadly, uh, <laughs> you know, the the combat can be, especially when you're unarmored. But they yeah. are man, because it that that just a uh, like regular cloth is yeah. going to be six six absorbency against whatever you do for damage so um, it's armor. I, I was fortunate to have 11 endurance so which is the reason I why i used I, it I, yeah it, it came off i'm only two off on my decks but uh oh, yeah. but that's all pummeling damage so it's not like so that uh, means you don't need surgery right no <laughs> you could survive. You oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, still good. <laughs> <laughs> so you could survive if. Uh... I, I should have yeah. just, I should have just popped the shoe, like instantly, and just made you guys. In yeah, a, that that's in the thing. Like I a, in a capsule that's filling with water and killed off one of them like that. Yeah, I, I, I think like once we're like in the capsule, like and like you know, clearly we didn't know what to do. We had like yeah. no idea. We're fucking That's around. True. We're like That's accomplishing true. nothing. Just looking here, looking there, trying to figure out. Then like, oh, okay, the shooter or letting go or whatever, or like the capsule fall or the the tree yeah. the tree crack, and then like that could be a nice slower. You know, there's a lot of things. But I think like this thing have been like stretched a bit too long because it took it. It took what forty five minutes before we we're out of the capsule. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, it was a long, it was a long time. Yeah. Yeah, we'd have to check. Yeah, I think it was that long. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I meant for the first 30 minutes to be you guys got out of the caps. But I guess mm -hmm. it was a little longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sometimes well, things don't go as planned, so. <laughs> like, I think, I think, like, five minutes or ten minutes we should have been out of the caps show. Yeah. Because what we were there, like, it was too far to, to be on the planet, right? We, we barely did anything. Yeah, but um, I mean, you need like a, maybe this isn't the way that you guys play it, but I like to have an act one where mm -hmm. characters are introduced. Yeah, but and in the one ends, shot, that needs to be the it new typically new ends at 30 minutes mm -hmm. or at a quarter and then. Well, the, How did that work, when, Phil? Like you were, you were doing a, you had a. Two I totally hour forgot thing, to set the time. <laughs> and you forgot to. Oh, I was going to ask you because I was watching, and some of the pushes it seemed to be coming on like the half hour, and then the, yeah. the hour, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if he's staying on that. That's no. good on you. I started doing work. it a little bit when we, I popped we, the we, we could have our, our like uh, have our introduction once we're on the ground, right? Right. Once yeah, it's hard to do in one there. shot, but I, I don't know that I intended this to be one shot. Yeah, well, I, I'm be willing to go back to it right now. Like, yeah. uh, now, like it, it felt like we're just like getting started. Like now, like think, okay, now like there's a conflict, there's some stuff happening, right? Yeah. We started getting together. Uh, well, yeah, I have a lot more in my William is dead, but you know, like now, like there's some this thing with the uh, between. Well, he could be the old man that we tracked down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was his name again? Gonna, or like the, somebody else that is hiding it, from the bink, right? Yeah. The old, the I, old I, um, yeah, I'm curious to see. I mean, he's not going to stick around because Crispy's going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. That's not done yet. That's he probably shouldn't have yet. gotten greedy and took the packs, but. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to kill that guy for taking our packs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. But, yeah. I definitely felt like there was. Uh, I don't know what you guys thought. I, it was similar to the werewolf game. I, I felt like there was a lot of me 
waiting to do something. And I don't know if I should have done something. Certainly, no, in I the don't capsule. think so. I think that's a player thing. Uh, yeah. We were, I was, but I'm trying to not interrupt other players. So, yeah. in my defense, <laughs> did you? I was waiting for a prompt before I said anything. Yeah, what I, you think I was about... I got a little confused about the turn order a couple times. Yeah, so what did you think about around. the lack yeah. of round robin max? I was I was always waiting for for your character William to to go before I go, so I was waiting for that. Yeah, and, and I was waiting. I, I got confused as to like because we jumped around a couple times, so I wasn't yes. like sure where we were at. Yeah, personally, the lack of round robin doesn't bother me. It's not something like I'm married to, right? But yeah. if we want to if we want to have like free flow game, yes. we have to remember two things. Like if you just took a turn, let other people take a turn. Yep. But also, if it's been a while since you took a turn, fucking take a turn. Yeah. Even if it's yeah. just an anchoring statement, like, oh, Jump I'm just in. like sitting on the, on the dirt, kicking rock with my feet, you know, just like say something that you're still there. And then, we, okay, we get it. You don't have anything to contribute now. We move around. So sometimes I'm just like, sometimes I just took a turn. Then somebody take a turn. Then I'm just waiting, but nobody say anything. Come on, guys. Jump, jump in. in. Yeah. yeah. Well, the problem is, is I jump in too much. Well, so. that's, that's yeah, the thing. Me and Chris P, me and Chris P, we don't have problem taking Chris. turn. We're no. two fucking big mouths, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly right, Max. You've hit it on the nose. That's exactly that's, the problem. That's good if everyone is a polite big mouth. Yeah. Yeah. But but that's often that's often time what happened. I take a turn. Chris P take a turn. Then we wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah on, guys, jump in. Like I don't yeah. want to take a turn again because otherwise it's just gonna be like. I think there was a couple times where um, it was getting into that, like, I'm taking three act. Tr turnflation was starting to happen. There, yeah, little, there was little. some yeah. of that. I, yeah. I, I felt like I shut off a couple of turnflations. I don't know if you guys felt that way. But, uh, I, I it, thought it was, was it fine. Weird? Yeah, it, okay. it, yeah, because there, there was a couple of times where Max and Crispy were talking to each other for an extended out. period of time. And I, I was hoping that uh, <laughs> you know, for William to pop in to say his, but uh, yeah. I, I did Yeah, it would it would have had to been an intervention by the referee to say. Oh, to well, also like during the combat, also at some point you had a few turns of combat, and then like I kind of forced it to bring it. Like I know Crispy tried, and like I said, okay, mm -hmm. let's force it a bit, like that we can do something. We are in like rustling, like they're not that far, right? Yeah, I guess when I'm when combat starts, I kind of give two rounds. And then yeah. we'll bring in the others. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel like it should go. And I know, like, there was a, when I was in the tree at some point, like, I did like, say, like, okay, like, next, like, tree thing I'm going to do because, like, I'd been there for a while while the other people, like, were down, down in the river and just, you yeah. know, like, so I was trying to play catch up a bit. Yeah. Uh, so then you can go to the other guy and do stuff with them while my action resolved. But as a whole, do you think it was better than versus like the first Fear City? Like compared as far, not am I better than Crispy? But the question is, of course, yeah. <laughs> is there less? Uh, was there less talking over each other? There wasn't any talking. Over. I feel like that at. was the major issue that you had with the yeah. Fear City game. That's something we get better at, better at. But there's still some time. I feel like we're with. It wasn't that bad there, but it's until sometimes, like sometimes, we I feel like we don't listen to each other, right? So we just everybody's pulling like in one direction. Yeah, I think there was a point where uh, William's character was following Max, and then Rick was like, "You're, <laughs> hey, William." Well, it's because How like I think like I was confused about right that because like and just say I'm going this do this thing this way. Yeah. I say, "All right, you fine. I'll go this way instead." And then William said, I'll go with you, but like it wasn't clear to which to who he was talking uh, to, right? Yeah. So then, like, I wasn't sure if he was with me or with uh, with Andrews, but I assume he was with Andrews and Remus yeah. was with you. I, I thought I was with William and yeah. you and Crispy were together. So he uh, said he was going to go uh, scout out the hilltop. And like, oh, I'll come yeah. along. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then so, okay. So, it was, so, okay, we're all on the same page then, except yeah. for Phil. Think... Yeah. yeah, just the referee yeah. that wasn't aware. Who cares? It's low res. I'm just moving for. I'm just here to react. I'm here to react. No, but it's a definitely interesting scenario. If you guys want to keep doing this, I could always be a sole survivor of another drop and just run into. Oh, there's it. plenty of there's plenty of other characters floating around here. Yeah. As long as you're yeah. a criminal for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> 
or unjustly imprisoned. Yeah. 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 I've, I've heard a lot. I've been to Alcatraz. <laughs> I hear hell's great this time of year. Unjustly <laughs> imprisoned? Was yeah, unjust in prison? Sure. prison. Are they, or is everybody like there like unjustly? No. No, no. I'm definitely there for reasons. Definitely there for reasons. Yeah, I'm there for I reasons. Think, well. uh, I think Andrus might be like a... He might have been I'm, like a I'm political, a political prisoner. prisoner. I'm a yeah. political prisoner, so... But he's got some wacky ideas too, you know, one of those charismatic leader types. Yeah, it's going to be one of those things. Uh, our next session, you know, Remus, Remus, oh, when watch your people out. come in, uh, <laughs> when your people come, I know in what's happening. You. I know yeah, what's I happening. To, here. I wanted to leave Rick's character dying as a question mark, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just to give him a chance of using the same character before Crispy kills him. You, you kind of got on that, hey? Like I, I had the a certain yeah, thing I, I would to do. End it as soon I, as you, I know as exactly you said, what you're tell doing. Tell me your story. <laughs> I wanted to end it. Every time Chris started talking to somebody, I was like, okay, he's going to die. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. I was yeah. like, getting ready to intervene every time we spoke to somebody. It's such like, a cool catchphrase. <laughs> so the, is the only guy that killed somebody? Me? Uh, Crispy. I killed at least <laughs> one. Yeah. Wait, there were three, three guys, no? Yeah, I killed what? one. I just killed, I didn't kill the in the combat, yeah, right? Killed, I just killed Isaac. Killed two guys, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there was four guy, right? So yeah, crispy kill. Oh well, you. Oh yeah, you Max killed Isaac. Killed. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, Max I mean, killed two of the the raiders, and then one yeah. got away. One got away. Yeah. 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 Oh, we we never found out what crispy did. I'm assuming he was a serial mercy killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. It's, sort of. it's just a job. That'll, we'll leave that for do. next. Was a Canadian doctor. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Your story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, funny! Oh my god! But I did. I I don't know if it came through, but I definitely had the lowest intelligence of the entire group, yeah. like by a long ways. Uh, there yeah. was like some times where you mispronounced words, or like yeah, or I would, like he yeah. someone said fauna, and I'm like yeah, and animals yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. You, you caught that? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to keep a straight face with 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 you sometimes. <laughs> I get that. I'm, all, I'm also really happy that like Max's character less than an hour in is suggesting cannibalism. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> go there. Like, we haven't even had one night yet, and he's already like, "Let's eat them." Let's eat the I'm people. A well, he's thinking for the future, man. He's thinking ahead. Very practical. <laughs> Well, no, like, that, like this. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Our character, like my character, has been sent sent there, but then you know, he's okay with it. Yeah, I mean, he's fine with it. Yeah, and I I don't even know where here is. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool planet. It's pink and purple. Yeah. <laughs> is, there, is there good chats or no offense, chat? Uh, I don't think we had many. Why bad guys? Are you playing Dungeons Twitch. and Dragons? <laughs> it's basically Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> We're sure, big traveler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, on, that's on Twitch. That's on Twitch here. Let me nice. show that. So, yeah. yeah, I have a bunch of stuff going on here on Twitch. I know what, what happened? As well, should I, should I show my rack more? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what are you yeah, than me? The effectiveness. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, I yeah, flex. Right. Yeah, we showing my shiny skin. Flexing. Mm. You have a lot of X viewers. To it. <laughs> What's well, that? I don't know. If we're you have a, lot of, yes, a lot of viewers on X. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I have a. I have a quite. Uh, okay. Cool. I have, yeah, I got that's a good, cool. good X following there going on. So. Yeah. Right on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Well. Yeah. Hey, hey guys. How's it going? Who? Um, this must be from, uh, it looks like it's from a link chat from, uh, somebody probably from Max. Yes. Yep. Max's probably. channel. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So, so yeah. Well, good. Thanks, thanks for watching well. everyone. Are yeah, we coming back to this for... next week or we have something else going on next week? I don't know. We'll talk about that. We'll talk. To be um, determined. If, it, if that's the first Monday of April, I'm out, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. Yeah. It's April first. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's Easter Monday. It's Easter. Monday. I mean, I will be there because it's April first. Oh, 
Oh, I'm, I'm lying because it would be an April Fool's joke. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, I'm right. playing oh, my four oh. intelligence filter. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> That's true. It is the first. Wow. It's yeah. crazy. All well, right. Well, thank to you. To be determined. Everyone. Who, we have to figure out who's next up. And there will be games. There will be yeah. games. Yeah. Where? Uh, what else? Uh, what else? Everybody got going on this week? Hmm. I don't know, but there is uh, for me. There is a vampire game in the pipeline. That's Ooh, hard. right on, Phil. I think yes. I'm going to make it a sort of a long form. So this game, if you're not aware, Watchers is in the same world building, universe building as our last Traveler game. Yeah, it's in the mm. same universe. Called uh, what's the name of it, Rick? Shadows Cross in the, the Stars. So. Like oh, real quick! Did you guys like my uh, my talking in the in the pod? Yeah, I did. Yeah, lovely, lovely. The ad, lovely. The oh ad was great. Yeah, that was good. Yep. I'm, I'm going. I, you know, as you're saying that, I'm going. Oh, this could be. This could be good if we have some tools. We could dismantle it, make a transceiver. Blah blah blah. I'm like, I'm like, yo, know, blah, blah, blah. All kinds of things coming through my head. Yeah, but, uh, everyone wants uh, that pod. Then it sunk. In case you're wondering, the pod is really valuable. All right. Yes. Well, I hope you all have a uh, great evening. And uh, absolutely, we'll see you soon. Take care. Shall we? Shall we do the traditional traditional ending? Oh, well, I guess I don't get oh. to say what I. <laughs> what, oh, I what, what do you have to oh, say? Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry to Max. Say? Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to say, like, uh, I'm going to be back on uh, Friday for the. Um, the tear your skin up. Oh, yeah. uh, we're gonna try to move the day to fr the, the the day to Friday instead of Sunday. Okay. So okay. on Friday at uh, nine ten Eastern time, nine ten p.m. Obviously, Eastern time. Tear your skin off so we can join cool. us there. Chris, did you got anything you wanna shout out? Man? No. All right. Are we Good planning on? Are oh, we yeah. planning on a uh, like a uh, like a GM Twitter? diary or a? Uh, a tweaker? a tweaker? Oh, we should do that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have another. I think I well. have. To, I think I should definitely be better about that. So I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying, trying to catch up on your show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm trying to I'm, catch up. Oh, I'm tweaking. Yeah. Well, then do them. I Doc, will then. Doc, you doing what? anything? <laughs> uh, no, my schedule's open except for work. Uh, okay. okay. Gotcha. Well, take us away, Rick. All right. All right. Care, we'll do. You guys, have a good night. All right, if you made it this far in the video and you feel like you want to go ahead and punch that subscribe button, we're learning stuff, I'm learning stuff, let's all learn together. Subscribe! Subscribe now! Subscribe to 28mm RPG! Subscribe to Big Bad RPG! And subscribe to Table Runner 3! Thanks for joining us. Keep an eye out for our next upload. We'll look forward to having you on the next one.